Welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. My name is Robbie Hoyler, and this is part 2 of a two-part installment where we show users how to create a custom weldment profile and library. Last time, we showed how to create the library and folder structure for custom weldment profiles, so see part 1 if you missed that video. This video, part 2, will cover how to sketch and create the weldment profile sizes and add them to the library. With that being said, let's review. You have to have your weldment library folder you have to have your standard folder. If you have a configured profile, it goes here in the type location. And if you have a normal profile, it needs to go inside of your type folder. And then your size will be selectable here. So let's go ahead and create a new custom weldment profile. Create a new drawing. I'll select my units here. And then you can start drawing your weldment profile straight from the beginning, like so. And I'm going to draw the component structure that I'm going to use. You can see that I'm making use of my S key for quick commands. I'm also making use of my shortcuts on my mouse wheel, my mouse gestures, to do a lot of these commands. And as I finish my profile, I'm going to turn these two final lines into construction geometry using my flyout bar. Now once you've created the entire sketch of your weldment profile, this is a really important thing you must do. You have to select insertion points anywhere you want to place this profile inside of your drawing. I'm going to go along the outside where I would normally place some of these points just so that I have a place to locate my profile in case I ever need to locate it from the center. You'll see very shortly what I mean by this. Now, once you have your weldment profile placed with insertion points, you need to save it. You do not save this as a normal part. You go to a save as and you select the library feature part or .sld LFP, library feature part. And I'm going to travel to the correct file location that we just set up and checked that we had inside of the weldment library standard. Mine is not a configured profile, so I am going inside of the type folder. And then I'm going to rename my profile vblock and then I'm going to hit save. This message is going to show up. You always want to select no if you have already drawn geometry inside of this part. Once you hit no, you should see in the top corner a V block name that I have created on the top level. But more importantly, you'll also see the library feature part icon. There's one more very important step you must do to create a weldment profile here. You have to right click and add to library the sketch one. Then once you exit the sketch, you should see a bright green L. Save, make sure that this feature is correct. And then we can simply go back to our frame and it should be selectable inside of my standard type and then for my size I should have my V block and then another shortcut you can use inside of the groups folder if you select a sketch any geometry inside of that sketch that is a solid line will automatically be turned into a welded profile. Now in this case mine is laying down on the side because I selected those points that I can use to locate this profile I can change where that profile is located here inside of my sketch. Lastly, what I'm going to do is rotate my structure here and locate it about the center so that I can change my geometry. Then I'm going to hit OK. Then I can analyze my frame and see that everything is the way it should be. And that is how to create a custom weldment profile inside of SolidWorks. This has been TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. Thank you, and tune in next time.